Welcome back 1211 and joining us. We have Lanisha Smith from FEMA. Good afternoon, Lanisha. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Lots of important information for us to talk about mm -hmm. this afternoon. I guess we can start with the deadline for Laura because that is quickly approaching. Yes, so the, uh, the deadline to register for FEMA assistance for Hurricane Laura is exactly one week from today. So it's going to be on October 27th. Um, we wanna, really want to make sure that survivors are putting in those applications. There's three ways that survivors can uh, register for FEMA. They can call the FEMA helpline number, which is 1-800-621-3362. They can download the FEMA app, or they can simply just uh, visit disasterassistance.gov. Okay, and uh, similar, uh, uh, the December 15th deadline for Delta, it's, it's a similar process, correct? Yes, similar process. So two different disasters, two different deadlines. For Hurricane Laura, it's October 27th. For Hurricane Delta, it's going to be December 15th. So they have a lot more time right. to register for Hurricane Delta. And again, if survivors have been affected by both storms, they will need to make sure they're putting in two separate uh, registrations for each storm. So Hurricane Laura, one application, Hurricane Delta, a separate one. Now, I know that you guys had sent out an email kind of giving some factual information uh, about, mm -hmm. you know, kind of how to navigate through this. Is there anything, you know, on that list that's super important that you want to remind folks? Um, it's really important to make sure that they're keeping all of their receipts and all of their documents. So for Hurricane Laura, we've had more than 200,000 survivors register for FEMA assistance. And to date for Hurricane Delta, we've had a little bit more than 7,100. So we know who's registered for who. We're keeping track, but we're also making sure if you are registering for both storms, that we're gonna be comparing both registrations, um, comparing both inspections, just to make sure we're not duplicating any efforts um, and any sort of assistance that you may be receiving for your damages. So it's really important if you have to take pictures, take pictures of before and after. Um, if you have pictures before um, from Hurricane Laura to Hurricane Delta to compare, um, making sure you're keeping your receipts, your documents, so that could be any estimates that you may have gotten from any contractors that you're working with as well. Um, and also making sure that we're updated on your information, on your cases and your current mailing address as well. Okay, good deal. And last but not mm -hmm. least, is there a chance any other parishes, let's say Lafayette, could be added to this uh, list of parishes? Right, and that's really important because that's a question that I've been hearing a lot as right. well. So um, just like for Hurricane Laura, they did add on additional parishes as time went on. So it's really important that survivors are also making sure that they're uh, reporting their damages to the state. The state has set up a link um, that includes a survey. It's at damage.la.gov where survivors can go in and put down their damages and uh, what's happened to their home and from what storm just so they know where the damages are and where the assistance is needed um, so they can communicate that with us and we can work through that process. Um, so there may be um, some future uh, parishes added. Okay, good deal. And Lanisha, thank you. That was very helpful and a lot of information there. We'll make sure that this interview and all of that info is on our website, kadn.com. Hopefully we will check back soon. Again, thanks for uh, coming on today. Thank you. All right, guys, stay with us. We've got a whole lot